Hello and welcome to my coding session which is creating bucket manager. This is a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files which are consist of satellite channels information. So yeah. The problem which I have got from the last session were, were like um, file chooser, the standard JavaFX file chooser does not have uh, the properties which I need because it is a native OS window and it was needed for people who actually write apps for the Apple Store but I'm not actually thinking that I will ever write app for the Apple Store mm, I'm not a mobile devices guy in this particular manner, I'm more backend and frontend on on web applications, but does not matter for my project. And what I how I will go about? So basically, let me just go to the board and let me think about. So I need to create some sort of application in a no, this is not application but is rather additional element which I need to add to my project uh, it will go like this it will have it would have uh, I think same same let me just quickly do the stuff some sort of a prototyping basically okay so let me just quickly do this stuff and Here I basically do following. Here you will see like ok, and here you will see cancel. Yeah, it's pity that I need to do that, um, but I think for me it's like my way to solve problems. And yeah, I'm creating my own my own file chooser so in here it will be like I don't know uh, Java FX Java FX custom custom file chooser actually actually I want to um, show the path to file basically here I will need to display Here I need to display display file disp display um, display devices hard drive hard drives hard drive hard drives and basically user can let me just do this so basically what kind of interactions I expect uh, in my case so my application which is, will be customized file um, customized file chooser it will provide following it will provide a string to the selected file which user selected so and and here I will uh, let me just I forgot actually to write here selected file so 
selected file. Okay, now how it will work? Uh, I produce this window. The user clicks on the devices. It goes through the trees or e or it specifies in this edit field the path to the file then the selected file will be displayed here and the user have two possibilities click cancel click ok when the user clicks ok then his selection of one file will be stored and the, the output will be the path to the selected file so basically it will be like this selected file select selected file why I need to do that because uh, file chooser is the default file chooser isn't good enough I, and I cannot test it in my application because the default file chooser is operate operating system dependent feature it's not a, a java fx it, it java fx uh, internally makes a system call to, for this uh, dialog but it makes in my sense uh, not impossible it makes actually impossible uh, to 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 test it in the way which i like to develop my application and because of this i decided to create my own personal file chooser because i don't think this is a good approach to mock mock it out i think it's actually better to create own stuff and make your inter make your whole application like ind independent because then my application will possibly definitely run without any problems on macOS, on Linux and all, all where Java standard virtual machine is run so my choice is my solution create own file chooser and I don't know how much time takes time to create but let's just try it let's just do do the way and definitely I did search previously like file chooser let me just write here customize it file chooser customize Let me just go there. Maybe I have found on GitHub Java FX bit and directory chooser. Ah. So this is a, the GitHub from one guy. The file choosing directory choose implementation Java FX call out to the. Okay. Yeah, this is actually what I'm ask, ask about. Uh, and this is actually interesting so multiple file I don't need okay but let's let just quickly check his license what kind of license common IO license Apache license uh, no, now this is the things which I have personal problem because um, Apache license does it yeah but source object work okay I don't think this is a uh, Compatible to to the GPL. Let me just quickly check Apache license Apache license compatible 
GPL free. I don't think this is compatible to my license. Uh, okay, so I can include this license to my project, but not other way. The work of some JPL free software. Okay, so I can... I'm thinking actually not to do this stuff. I mean, sure, uh, let me go back. Sure, so source, let's just look at source. Oh, okay, so he used kind of okay, main resources, file chooses properties, CSS. Okay, now, 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 okay, now I need to clone it. Uh, let me just pause and show you later how it goes so here it is uh, a project which i got from the github it's a maven project it's well good good that is the maven project i hope it can actually work in my environment and things to think <laughs> it's always difficult to use external project Licensing, licensing issues can arrive and claims can be held against. Always happens. But, but basically, I will try right now to go through the code and maybe I just can re reuse the code because of the nature of the license. Because in the JPL free project you can use Apache license, but not in in another case. Yeah, kind of problematic. Now let me just it imports all of the stuff. Okay, oh cool. So many things to choose. Now it's almost completed. Okay, some warnings. I see some warnings. Okay, it's, it's definitely go long enough. Okay, now. Oh, oh, right. Okay, so this is the same information. File choose demo. So, yeah, and I'm doing this, why? I'm doing this because I want to... This Java comp Because I just want to be make sure that I can... So I have here even tests. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see this code. Okay, so let me just run the demo and give, get some expression. Okay, now where I can... Native implementations are great, use customization is, is needed. The project implements a file choose and directory choose the completely JavaFX code. So... Okay, so it has some things to work on. Source test Java file browser file chooser. Let me just go to the path test. 
no source test java com source test java com file choose a demo so this is a demo actual demo let me just run it i hope it it works Okay, choose file. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you ask me, mm, <laughs> I have basically different kind of approach. It's cool, it's cool, and I must give the guy who did, who actually created, yeah, I, I must give him some sort of recognition and say big thanks for doing such application, uh, but once again, it's all about design, so my personal feeling about Actually, I don't want to display this stuff. Actually, I, my point of view, create one window and work through one window. And if you have selected, so maybe I will reuse some stuff from this from his project. But I'm not sure that I actually want to have the whole the whole stuff but it it's kind it's, for me it's kind of strange it's a strange situation because in, in previous uh, java libraries for ui you did have graphical user interface with full capability it means file shows of in java written it bugs me why Oracle didn't create a file chooser for for the JavaFX, but anyhow we have a solution. But basically my approach will be different. So let's just close it and think about stuff. Uh, first of all, it kind of sucks uh, having too much lines in the code and. Um, I'm not satisfied with what I'm seeing here. And yeah, I will give some if I see the name of this guy, maybe maybe on his Ricky Mary Rice Mary Rick Emery. So Rick Emery, if you're watching this, thank you for your job. But I think it is over overkill for my project. <laughs> so I will basically design my my own stuff, but I will get some sort of a, um, impression by looking to your code and maybe re reusing some code parts. So I thank you for your work, and let me just go to my stuff and and work with my stuff so this project will won't be included into my into my part and yeah i see many classes and such and such and such and such view type places you okay three item view okay so a lot of work to do that in the right way but i have my tools and i have some time to do that let's just quickly quickly go to does he have some main abstract file abstract file choosing i don't think let me just 
and basically he does not use the he has done didn't created any unit tests and he does does not use fxml and i think this is a big problem if you if you don't use fxml right now in 2018 uh, you're doing too much work too much work for your own good but for me i choose to to do my own stuff so let's close it and look it when it on when i have when i need to have some sort of uh, enlightenment on some parts so okay it was cool um, now i need to make sure that my how i should put it so basically the situation is like like this where i have my so i have my okay view utils i will put my file chooser my customized file chooser to the views views utils and the controller for this case will be in my controller package open file from menu test so i have this test case but yeah it's nothing you don't see here much uh, let me just close it maybe i need this stuff well now i'm still thinking about how i will do definitely want to approach in my kind of way so first of all i want to create oops uh no let me just click upon. okay so now let me just go to my clips and first of all i want to have a, i want to have a test unit test for my case view test and for for the reasons of time and convenience i want create a separate java project for my file chooser the class itself will be independent it will be independent from from my main application so if anybody in the future would actually try to use my stuff <laughs> first licensing will be like if you have a, a Apache 2 license and you want to use some stuff from GPL 3, you would get a problem because my project is a GPL 3. So think about it. Uh, you have an option. And now I just need to create my GUnit test. And here I am creating. So file customize customized file chooser test it will uh, yeah it will have some stuff uh, basically ah basically I need to create like whole whole stuff yeah in this case I need to have my own stuff to test it sep to test it separately it's kind of kind of personally I say it's kind of ugly but yeah must deal with it So basically I have my start uh, 
and then I have my uh, test. The start method will always run before each of test, so I don't need before each. Assert not now. And here I need to provide following. I need to provide my. Uh, let me just quickly think about. So I have my. This is this is this is will be like my main. <clears throat> main class for my file cho choose a file choose object and yeah so customized cust and customize it file choose uh, file choose cust custom file chooser it's kind of yeah sucks that I need to do that but nothing is so nothing is wrong so let me just create it here now I need to be able to put it here like like this other class now I can include it into my project and actually I can run it I think I can run it I need this one yeah I forgot to initialize it yeah. it's it's very important to initialize the stuff. Okay, now it should. Yeah, it should it should work. It works. So, so. Let me just switch to. Let me just think about what I need to do. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I will go about this like following first of all I need to display the view form and the title and let's just write a test test void display layout 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 form only layout I don't need anything else so Okay, so I need to do some stuff, and this will be basically go like this. I I need to have my visible verify is visible yeah, like this, and basically here. I just need to here I need to create create actual form create actual form And then I just go like what kind of um, custom custom file chooser. Yeah. And this is what I need to see. 
let's just do that. So I need uh, my fxml. Basically, for this kind of case, I need to create separate package. U of XML utils. I create my FXML U FXML new FXML document. I will use border pane. And how I actually can structure my stuff. Uh, let me just quickly think. Top and down middle. Pretty pretty good layout. Here here I will use like um, button border pane. Things like that. So let's just do that. Border pane. The name of this uh, will be custom uh, customized file chooser. Customize the file chooser, yeah. Okay. Now you don't see anything because I didn't specify how large it should be and what kind of size should be resizable and yes I will do 1640 80 it shouldn't be so large so basically this should be sufficient for the first run so now now the situation here I need to think so I load my fxml into the class and then I need to call my class out so this is an example And later on, um, question arise: How I will use it later when I have my own stuff? But I don't think this is so so much big deal. It's a separate class which only three times called by my main controller. And this class should have separate stuff. And let me just let me just quickly go to my to my class. So my, basically, I want to structure it in the same way. My main view doesn't consist a lot of stuff here. Some setters, some getters. So next test So basically I have my failing test Yeah, see it fails And I need to do my stuff So I need to switch to my custom file chooser And start to write here some code so what custom file customized file chooser would have it needs to be an extension where is my main view here so it will be an extension of application why because it's separate application And I forgot to write extends. Q 
Okay, Java FX application. So it has some methods which I need to implement the state the start. Okay, now So basically in, I don't need internationalization for this kind of case main view grid pane but I have border pane so let me just re reuse this code so I'm actually doing all right border border pane main view border pane it's kind of stuff which I don't like to, to do but have to have to have to so now I just need to Okay, this main view. This is not a main view. This is a file chooser. File chooser view. Add the imports. Add getters and setters. Now I need to add another stuff. Basically, it's re repeating myself, <laughs> kind of. But this is actually a good example how stuff can become complicated, even if you don't think about. And the draw exception. And my point of view, if if I would decide to do the stuff, I would just written some sort of uh, interface and let the user of the library decide what kind of uh, file chooser I would like to use a native or actually a JavaFX one but I, we don't have it we don't have it in JavaFX the native file chooser and this is kind of bad So now I can I need to have getters and setters for my other stuff. Save it. So now I just need to I need to call set main view grid pane, set title, new scene, put on scene, and, and then call the launch operation in the main. I mean, yeah, I need all other stuff. Okay, do I have something else to do? <clears throat> so basically uh, start and start I provide my launch method oh, RGS what kind of R okay so I passing so 
so now why it doesn't like it the method start of the yeah it will do it will do let me just do this the right way so launch launch start main start launch let me just copy this code launch main Yeah, it some kind of sucks when it happens. Um, private static void, I can copy this code. And I don't need to make it abstract, I just need to set it application border stage. Okay, now. main view I need a constructor yeah it's it's all happens in the constructor so let me just use it constructor And this kind of boring stuff, I know, it's almost at one hour. Let me just stop and show you the result. Okay, okay, so now it's completed. I have my main class, customize it, Alexander customize it file chooser. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to give some sort of my own taste on the window. And... To, to proceed further and what kind of stuff I need to pick and choose and so my main class is ready so I don't need to add additional stuff to my main class and what kind of stuff I need to run in my test so I can take this kind of stuff and copy in my test so main object new main object in my case it's custom custom file chooser new custom file chooser so now I need to do this kind of stuff let me just put it the right object notation and then set title get title extracted title yeah i can actually leave with that mm, extracted title title so let me just put private private string Okay, main view object. Main view object where I get my main view object. And this is how it should now I run my test which previously failed, now it should pass. Oh something happened, something happened. Null pointer, null pointer. So, let me just quickly look it up why it does not work. Get main view scene, get title, stage, get 
title. Ah, okay, stage to front. So I have forgot some stuff. Now I need to to show it. So now it should work. Let me just click a format code. All right. So I see the picture. Custom file chooser, and then do I need to bound it to my FXML? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Maybe I need to create a controller. Mm. So let me pause. Okay, so finally I fix it. Uh, it was some strange bug, but anyhow, this is what I get. After one hour work, <laughs> so I'm actually getting starting to get the result. So here is my class where I have created my personal file chooser window. And this will basically see will see the user. So now it's actually to do some quite fun stuff and. I will basically work right now with the scene builder. So then later I don't need to switch a lot to between code and scene builder. So now let's just look at my picture. Let me just okay, so I need to adjust it so I can look it. So at the top I need uh, edit field uh, text okay text field and text 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 field Field um, path to file. This will actually show the path. Field field path. Text the field path default path. Default path. It will be displayed here and okay so one time is happens here so I need a button bar at the bottom button bar at the bottom so it will consist of I need two buttons two buttons and selected file and one LBL field label ok now I include label ok so now it's kinda of fun now I need to put it like wrap in once again border pane so and I think put to put at the right at the right and at the center I will put a label 
which actually without additional text and the label size should be like I don't know maybe like like this and the color red basically yeah so let me just quickly make some text so this is my ok button ok button black and I prefer that it is in bold and then here I have cancel button cancel and it is in black Sometimes it does not work. I need to reload my um, stuff. So yeah, okay. Once again, open my scene builder. And finally, I can do some stuff code ok button cancel button cancel maybe I should ok button and yeah cancel cancel button and the label is LBL selected file so LBL selected file so button bar um, button buttons file choose file choose file custom file chooser button so basically I try to do use proper name custom file chooser button bar and maybe I should do it better on camera so border pane it is um, border pane for controls for result but this is basically border pane button button bottom border pane because it is on bottom okay and now I have done this stuff text field it is here uh, maybe I need to have some title so let me just think about I need to have some title yeah like um, label okay so now Okay, now I need to wrap it in border pane. Take the label from here, put it on the top, and text uh, put it at the center. So this will be LBL title and I don't want that this consists any text uh, it will actually better consist some text let me just think about uh, it'll, it will be bold 16 18 so um, custom file 
chooser. Custom file chooser. And border pane will have some values which I have shown you previously. Imagine. I just do it quickly. 10, 10, 10. And 10. Like. Uh, but is a padding. I forgot the padding. Uh, just save it, and it will look. It will look like this. So here I can custom file ch file custom file chooser, and I have my buttons, and the buttons need to get some padding too. Like here, 10. Wait a second. I need here at the yeah padding here ten 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 and save it. Yeah and maybe bottom like 20 10 and I think this will be sufficient for the for my for my case I'm not so big in UI you know you see that okay so now I got my custom file chooser I got my so custom file choose a label is kind of let me just quickly think uh, I want to have a margin between I don't think this works let me just quickly think about like okay it's not working and maybe when I put zero 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 Okay, save it. Yeah, custom file chooser. Doesn't matter right now. Um, I have my buttons. I have my. I have here one label. Uh, this label represents a selected file. So. If user selects a file here, it will be displayed like in the red, red color, and it should be in bold. Uh, and I need to, re to reload. Okay, let me close it. And here I just need to reload my stuff. Okay, now I see it. I'm almost at one hour. I need to close the session and let me just quickly look at my work. So basically I need to make sure that this is in bold. Save it. Now it now it is like I wish. Have my buttons, cancel ok. And I need to include somehow the now I need to think. Uh, do I have actually here some something having to do with files? I don't know. Drive file. Okay, so huh. Question is how I will represent the the tree view web view tree table view. So now I need to get an inspiration from the guy who actually done it uh, already. Already done this work and.
Okay, so basically, I like, uh, I like actually data modified size. I don't think this this will be appropriate. I think it is better to use some three three table view maybe. And I'm not sure at the moment. So I have three three view, three table, three table view, three column view, slider separator. list view what about list view can I okay now I just need to save it preview I need to look up list you and list you examples to get more so yeah I think it, I will finish at this kind of point um, it, it got my project to even large large amount of size, but I didn't know I didn't know that uh, Java FX had some sort of a limitation kind of puzzling for me why they did not do the best work possible but when I run my test I actually have no problems running my tests right now and so you saw it, it quite green and I have I have running project so if I run my application from where it is um, from the Utils. From here, oh, no, it's not no, not the right one. Um, from here, so yeah, you can actually run it like like here, and this is pretty amazing. What can you get for so much? Uh, so I can basically write some text and it should be possible to test some stuff but it is for another session. So thank you and bye bye.